Hey guys, it's Trip. I'm back. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're not going to be cooking. I'm going to go through and I'm going to do a little review on the Traeger Ironwood 885 and uh, compare it to the Pro model and the Timberline for you guys, just so you guys can see why I love this grill and why this actually has become my absolute favorite grill. So let's start with the outside. Um, it has a 24 pound capacity hopper, which is awesome. Uh, no problem with the overnight cook, briskets, all that stuff. It comes with the pellet sensor, so when you're on Wi-Fi, um, it's automatically included, and uh, you can check your pellet levels, everything. There goes a the neighbor. Um, it has super smoke, which the Pro does not have, the Timberline does. Um, so anything under 225 degrees, you can click that on, and actually will produce more smoke inside. It has a Budweiser shelf, which has got to be one of my absolute favorite parts. Um, should be everybody's favorite part. And then another thing that's different on the Ironwood series compared to the Pro is uh, the Pro has the uh, smokestack off the side where this one has the backdraft uh, for the smoke just like the uh, Timberline does that we'll get into in a little bit. Um, so basically when I open it up here in the back towards the bottom it actually has two holes where the smoke actually struggles to get out of them so the smoke will actually rotate in there a few more times than it would in the Pro Series where the smoke's just being pushed by a convection fan from one side of the grill to the other. So that is actually a huge, um, an awesome thing to have. Um, I love Super Smoke, use it all the time. And, uh, so that's probably one of the coolest parts that this grill does have, this and the Timberline Home. And then some other cool features as well. We got double walled on the sides and the whole bottom um, where the Pro does not have anything. The bottom is, um, double walled on the Pro models, but nothing on the sides at all. Um, this one also has a nice gasket on the lid, so it helps keep smoke in there. Um, then when you go to the grates, this is actually a really cool feature. You can uh, change the level of the grates, and some people might think that's ridiculous, but um, when you take the top level out and you just use this, and you're smoking low and slow, it actually is the perfect spot. It's just centralized in the grill. Um, allows the smoke to go around the meat just that much better and I really like it. When I'm using both sides, or top and bottom, I will drop it back down. And uh, just because, I'll show you another cool feature of this one compared to the Pro model. There is a huge amount of space. So chicken wings, you can actually reach them without burning the top of your arm off, which I've done numerous times. So that's another benefit. I love the Ironwood for that. And this comes out all together if you wanted to. You want to do a big beer can chicken or two of them. Um, 885 square inches and the difference between this and the Pro I find is this is 885 square inches of usable space. Because of the way it's designed you can get at every point of the grill. You can have it loaded up and you can still be rotating things, flipping. It's perfect for that. Where the Pro is great, it's functional, it's an awesome grill but I don't find it's as user friendly with that. And uh, once again to touch on the backdraft exhaust which is just underneath there. It's where the smoke goes out. Because of that, compared to the old stack style, I find that there's way less hot and cold spots across the whole grill. Everything on this grill cooks so evenly. Um, I haven't used the Ironwood 650 yet. I don't have that one, but I'm sure it's the exact same. So that's another thing that I absolutely love about the Ironwood. It'll get to 500 degrees, so you drop it down, you can sear it right here. Um, and uh, I use this room for absolutely everything. This, this, is my, this is my workhorse. 885 square inches of usable space cannot beat this grill. Um, pellet consumption is amazing in the winter as you can see we're in Canada so um, I have no problem uh, loading this thing up overnight and cooking and worrying about it absolutely not. The Pro definitely you can tell without the sidewalls uh, being uh, insulated like the Ironwood has it definitely uses more uh, pellets in the winter and the Timberline of course the difference between the Timberline is it's got an insulated lid um, the top's insulated as well, it's all double walled, the whole thing, so that one definitely uses a little bit less pellets, but bang for your buck, this is where your money's at. I love my Ironwood. Let's take a look at the Pro. Alright, so like I said, with the Pro, awesome grill, um, probably one of the best starters, and if not a starter, if you've been cooking for a long time, you can still use this thing every day. It does everything, 500 degrees for searing, do ribs, brisket, overnight cooks, it's awesome. But some of the things that it doesn't have that the Ironwood does that I absolutely love is this one does have the smaller hopper. Um, only 18 pound capacity, so it still gets you through a cook, but it'll be empty in the morning or close to it in the winter. Um, it doesn't actually come with this sensor. I had to buy that, where the Ironwood that's included in the price, this you have to buy, it's about 100 bucks. 
and that's the uh, pellet sensor for the app. And when you get inside, you can just tell there's a lot less space in between the rack and the top rack. So it isn't quite as functional. If you're doing bigger pieces of meat, you do have to take this out and then it's no longer 575 square inches. You know, it's, I don't know, 400 and some square inches to cook and serve, which is still plenty, three, four racks of ribs, but that is, you know, the Ironwood has that where you can leave the top rack in and use all of it at the same time. Um, and then it's got the old school stack style of exhaust. So this side of the grill is generally hot. It's no gasket on this one. It's got a little lip for keeping in smoke and no double wall whatsoever, except for on the bottom. It's got a little sheeting there. So um, still use it in the winter, still rock. It still gets up to 500 degrees if I want to in minus 30, minus 40 weather, but it's gonna use pellets like a son of a gun. Now let's go check out the Timberline. I'll show you some differences there. All right, so now we've got the Timberline. Now this is their most expensive grill. It has a lot of technology, a lot of cool stuff in it. Also has my favorite feature, the old Budweiser shelf. So that's the same. It looks very similar to the Ironwood, um, but you're gonna notice a big difference. Right off the look, um, it's got all the features that the Ironwood has, the super smoke, you know, getting hot fast, the new D2 motors in all of them. Um, but this front shelf is actually my favorite and least favorite part of the whole grill. Uh, it looks awesome, I love it, it's stainless. It is just not very functional where the Ironwood has the folding shelf like the Pro and that thing you can fit a whole tray on it. Where this has basically got storage on both sides, the hopper and the other side. It's got the same hopper as the uh, Ironwood, so 24 pound capacity, it's kind of nice. And then the inside, this is where I really like the Timberline, but you do pay for it. You've got the double wall lid and the top here and it's got three racks which um it's awesome it's got all the space you can function but the top rack doesn't get used for me much just because it is pretty tight to the lid but my favorite part would be the stainless grates of course love the stainless and that is a huge feature that the uh, timberline has that none of the other grills right now have and uh, and i do love that feature it's easy to keep clean it looks great cooks great great for searing like i said guys this is Bang for your buck, gotta be my favorite Traeger. And I mean, I've have, I have a lot. I got old pros, new pros, um, original pros. I got, uh, you know, the Ranger, the Tailgater, the Timberline. I've been blessed enough to have all sorts of cool Traegers. But uh, this one, the price point is great. It's right in between the Pro and the Timberline. Gives you all the features, basically, of the Timberline at a little better price. And uh, I, I do love the size of the barrels better than the Timberline. You know, 850 square inches there, but I don't really like the way you have to use the top rack. It's just too tight. Um, this baby is is just awesome. I, I can't say enough about it. I've put so many hours on this thing. I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you know hundreds of hours. Um, if you want the specifics of this grill, like actual size, all that, yada, yada, head to TregorGrills.com. I'm going to put a link below in the description so that you can click on it and it will take you right to Traeger and you can check out the actual specifics. And uh, th this grill is just, it's an absolute workhorse. I've had it on the road with me. I bring it back. It's, uh, it, it is an awesome grill. I recommend it. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers, guys.